single-handedly broke up my marriage. You're an awful person. You're 24 years old. Why would I listen to you? Why would you be giving therapy and advice to people who clearly need it? It doesn't make any sense, Ari. This is a horrible idea. You're listening to You're listening to Unlicensed. 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 Unlicensed therapy with Ari Mannis. Ari Mannis. Welcome to another episode of Unlicensed Therapy. If you haven't heard the show before, I have my friends come in, mostly comedians, sometimes managers and musicians and friends, and they come in and they talk about their problems, their life. Sometimes they just need a vent. It's a conversation, a therapy session, Mm -hmm. if you will. Today we have uh, Thomas Dale in the studio. If you don't know Thomas, he is a... White male comedian. Mm. Uh, I'm Italian. That's white. Is it? Yeah, in 2018. 2019? 2019. In 2019, yeah. you're a white male comedian, but I don't he know. is a homosexual, which that <laughs> takes away from the whiteness more than the Italian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I do, I often find that like if we're going to like think of like when we, I think actually in 2019 when we say white, we think of like culturally white. So mm-hmm. if anything more now in 2019, I would identify as Italian because I don't do things that like the when we say like white, I don't do those things because I'm so Italian. Like I'm more almost more like ethnic than like that's really sweet and nice that you think of yourself that way. Yeah. But in the boxes that I build for people, in the bubbles and jails that I put people in. Yeah. You're a straight. You're a gay (laughs) Homosexual. Okay, but I, you know me. Wait, I that don't, contradicts itself. You're a homosexual boxes, white right. male. Right, right. You're and right. And that's the box All that right. I've put I you forgot. in, dude. You're right. I, I, you know me. I can't. You can't get out of that. You can't I, get out of my box. But I can't be contained in the box. That's in your world. Well, see, the in reason my why, world, yeah. you're shoved in that box, dude. Oh, you're in already. my box. Oh, you're in boy. my gay box. You know, didn't we? I think we talked about this before about the authentics and the. Oh the, yeah, yeah, I love your authentic theory. Yeah. yeah. Um, the problem, explain explain what an authentic is. An authentic is a straight boy that is um, hooking up with a dude for like you know a fetish reason or uh, for money or um, you know he has to like maybe it's a dare or something. So he's only <laughs> doing <dare>. it. Yeah. <laughs> he's only doing it. For a reason. Okay, I'll say this. So that's an authentic. The if I get an authentic, ooh, so that's a hot time. you're saying he's ton. straight. Yes. That's so, a, fun, a real So one. the money thing, mm-hmm. I could get behind. Yes. Maybe you could convince a prison, straight guy. Prison. Yeah, maybe prisoner or money, you could mm-hmm. convince a straight guy yes. to do gay stuff. Or fetish. You, you're forgetting fetish. No. If a, gay, if a straight man Mm-mm. is having sex with your butt. No. And he calls it a dare or a fetish? Mm-hmm. I got news for you. No. That ain't no authentic. No, that's authentic. That's a gay man. That's authentic. That's a gay or bisexual man. No, man. I'm telling you. If he's doing it, he's doing gay things, but he is still straight. Like there's I know it's in your box, but like you have to understand these boxes. This is 2019, my man. These boxes are rectangles and octagons and and There's exceptions to every rule. Mm-hmm. Like maybe the, in the history of mankind, right. there's been a straight man who just is super into dares. What about and the was dudes, like, the I warriors. got dared, I'm doing it. The warriors, the fighters back in the days in the Roman times, they were fucking each other like on the, they were on the road. Back, things, cultural, cultures change and yeah. maybe back in the day, straight the, man fucked other men. Well, because women but were home and they in, were out fighting. In America, in my America. In your America. <laughs> in Trump's America. <laughs> if a straight man has sex with another man. They gay. Straight boys that are listening right now, don't let Ari scare you into not hooking up, a little bro baiting, a little bro job action. Don't let Ari fe- fear you. And don't listen to this. This is fear mongering. I didn't say there's anything wrong with that. This is Fox News right now. Hey, what am I? You, you want to go have sex with a man? Go do it. By all means. Go have sex I with Thomas I don't have sex Dale. with anyone. I have, or I have, I have, I'll have a jerk off session. Or yeah. I don't have You want to go jerk off with another man? Do yeah. it. More yeah. power to you. Thomas Dale 5. But then don't go around <laughs> telling me that you're a straight guy. Yes, that's a straight guy. That's a straight guy who's kinky, who's who's feeling. He got the. It's New Year's Eve. All right, let's jerk off right now. <laughs> exactly. Let's get this going. Let's get it going. God, you and your damn boxes. Yeah. That's my goal for two thousand nineteen. Break out of my Ari boxes. out of this box. Yeah, maybe it'd be good for I'm me. I'm gonna help you with your problems. That's him okay. trying to get me to jerk off with him. And listen, no, if I found you probably December thirty first. 
at like at like at like eleven thirty ish, eleven forty five. I was sober. The beer was. Fl- oh, you were sober. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, especially you, because you're an, you're an afraid boy. You're an afraid boy, and that's what it is. Everyone's a little bit afraid. Everyone has fears. Of you're course. telling me you have no fears. But you're an afraid boy to be outside of your box. That's the yeah, problem. Yeah, I ain't I ain't stepping out of my little you box. You love that little box. My box. Little I box. built it. It took me a long time to build. <laughs> you're so cute in that I box. I don't want to waste. <laughs> I don't want to waste the wood. Ooh, I ain't wasting no wood either, honey. <laughs> don't You're you sick. worry. That was a fun party. I was at that party. Uh, yeah, I that remember getting 50, these. This is actually, I, this is like my day shirt. I'll wear this, walk, do my day stuff. This That's is my nice. day outfit, but it's 2 p.m. It's if nice. you don't know anything about stand-up comedy. I think Pauly Shore deserves yeah. the plug. He's one of my comedy daddies. Paulie's rep- rep- represented by my manager, so giving a shout out to Pauly Shore. Who's your manager? Uh, Andy Farrag. Andy well, Farrag, yeah. At um, Brillstein. Yeah, really great guy. Mm-hmm. Andy's um, great. Yeah, Polly, I've gone on a few, uh, you know, little tours around I the country. I saw the videos, yep. With, with the weasel. Yep, and you're with Theo, too. I see you a couple of times. You know, Theo like Vaughn, Theo. my man. I, mm-hmm. You know, I I told him I wanted to come out with him, but, you know, he's bringing you now, so I guess it's just You're saying that. I got your spots? Well, I guess I want, you know what it is? I'm in this weird position where it's like I want, you know, I want to go and open for my buddies and my peers, but I guess it's like, you know, you can't go after this flow. <laughs> After what? <laughs> you, you can't go after, after what? After Thomas Dale. <laughs> oh, you're saying he can't follow not you? Not Theo. No, I'm not oh. saying Theo can't follow you. <laughs> you're, saying, you're saying you're so talented and such a beast on stage that they can't follow you. Well, I'll I be honest. I didn't say it. You I might didn't, have said it. I didn't, ask, um, I didn't ask Theo. Um, oh, okay. Well, actually, me, Theo asked but me years knew, ago. But, but he yeah. knew I wanted to. It's one of those yeah. things where I'm like, if someone knows me, they know I want to do it. Of course. I don't even need Especially, that. You know, Theo's someone I respect so much. I think he's so good. Yeah, yeah, he asked me a couple of years ago. And I was like, yeah. what?" And then he started getting popping. And now you're doing it. I think I'll tell you why I think he uh, brings me. Yeah. Is um, I've helped him out a lot. Probably. I think yes, it's you're a, right. I think it's a. I'm we're friends, but more. I think it's a. It's a. You know, he feels maybe a little indebted to me mm-hmm. because I helped him and start that, that podcast that right. got him, you know, a big fan base. But he, it's great for him. And, and and Theo's a really good dude, so I can see him doing that. Here And here's the other. I'll say this about Theo. Uh, one of the most, I mean, and that you know well enough to mm-hmm. already know this. One of the most generous guys. Totally. In the world. One of the yeah, nicest yeah, yeah. guys has always helped me out before anyone. He's always, hey, what yeah. can I do to help he's you? He's a good he, dude. He's that type of guy. And to the point so much where you're gonna you're gonna open for him too because he's such a nice guy that he's not gonna just bring me to open for him because he's gonna want to share that share the share the, that the little wealth. Yes. that little wealth. He's not like no, he's a, a Delia dude. who's gonna bring one guy with him everywhere. Even though Delia's a right. good guy yeah, too, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Theo's a better guy. Of course, the- <laughs> <laughs> Theo's a nicer guy. guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're well, both nice guys. Theo's nicer. Well, Theo um, is a Pisces and Chris is an Aries. So M- Pisces have more emotional, more feelings, more sensitivity. Um, Chris is an Aries, so it's more like just go for it and he's just going to go head on. Chris is not Yeah, really I th- mean, that's Chris, all um, Chris is bullshit. Great to, yeah, no, because, it's not. Oh, um, here he goes signs, again. All right, there he signs goes. Signs of, uh, depending on where you were, when you were born... Yes, your, oh, your whole wait. personality is going to be different. Okay, see, so uh, no, you don't have to that's trivialize called, it. Uh, bullshit. No, okay, yeah. all right. Oh, you cute. And, and thing. we're we're fr- like normally I would be like, oh, I don't know if I believe in that, but but I think I know well you know you yeah, well enough to say you're an idiot no. for believing. Okay, in that now stuff. I'm going to explain to you real yeah. quick. Let me just let me just and I've said this to you before, but you seem to not want to understand <laughs> science. So no, this isn't science. Okay, so wait. <laughs> let me no ask you. Let me ask you a question yeah. real quick. When you're born, you're uh, mm-hmm. you're you were put onto Earth, right? So you uh, you believe Earth exists, right? I do. Okay, so the Earth is part of a galaxy, a solar system, uh, uh, mm-hmm. a gravitational pull, a universe, a flow, right? So Earth is part of that. Uh, when you're born, your brain is developing for a full for a year or whatever, how much time? The um, astrology is just a simplistic way of explaining how your brain was affected by the planets in the positions that they were at according to the planet you were on. So you're on Earth, and it's just explaining you're not just because of the astrology. You are a, a human being, which has to do with genetics, environment, um, astrology. Yes, planets. Yes. Sorry to break. 
break it to you, my love. But yes, planets have affected your brain because you are right. part of a planetary if involvement. Case, if that's, that's the, case, the case, if that's the case, yes. let's pretend like that's the case. That is the case. It's science. Okay, we we, let's we pretend know the universe exists. I'm on exists. board, right? Okay, okay. Uh, let's pretend like I believe you and I don't think you're you don't a fucking have to believe idiot. Me. You, you don't pretend, have to believe me. The universe was already... Ex- let's we've pretend already ex- for a second that I don't think you're that one of, that you're very, very stupid for believing this. Let's let's but say I don't think that. You're being ignorant because you you are. I okay. just explained so, to you about the so, universe. So, Go ahead. so let's say that's let's hear the your case. point. Okay, what sign am I then? You? Yeah. Aren't you an Aries? No. As well, what are you? I don't know. Virgo not, cusp of Libra. You're not the Virgo cusp of Libra. Yes, I am. No, what's your when's your September twenty second? Okay, so what do you want me to say to you? So the fact that you didn't know what sign I am First just of all, goes to show you. No, that has it's all. No. Because Bullshit. there's a whole birth chart that you can have, and I only thought Aries because I thought I remember you telling me that you were an Aries once, um, and you probably we didn't. I probably didn't let it absorb into my brain because you were giving me this mock. <laughs> mock bullshit that you know I don't I'm I'll tell like, you what you want to open up for your friends stop believing in this crap and maybe <laughs> they'll so bring you stupid. on the road no one wants to no one wants to bring some crystal hippie fuck on the road yeah okay <laughs> let me explain something to you I have gone up to people uh, as I'm talking to them and their Just thing kidding. is so distinctive obviously they know mm-hmm. uh, there's it's so distinctive of what they're being they know they're like and I just nail it right right away but because you are so afraid to be who you are and you're probably you know, you're 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 portraying these other things. I bet you, if you were being yourself uh-huh. and being your honest uh-huh. self, I would be able to figure out what you were without you, you know, telling me. I'm pretty open guy, but you're not being your core. Maybe maybe I put people in boxes a little bit. Maybe I have issues to work on. Of course, like every we all do. Human we're humans. Me. That's part of coming into. But life. I'm a pretty open guy. I don't have secrets. Uh, I. Do you I know talk. that? The, do you believe that the moon deals um, has an effect on the water and the tides? Yes. Okay. So we're made of what is it like eighty something percent of water, whatever the the numbers are. Yeah. So why wouldn't we be affected by the moon? Maybe we would be affected by the moon, but, but that see, doesn't no mean maybe. when you were born, born that that's going to affect. It's affecting who your you brain. De- it's a brain development thing. It is an absolutely brain development thing. We're also all energy that comes from the universe. You know what God is? God is the light. God is particles. God is a source that we all derive from. So, yeah. God isn't real. Uh, God is a light. God. God doesn't is the exist. Name. God is well. Obviously, the 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 portrait of God, the the character of God, doesn't exist. Yes, right. I agree with that. Oh, you're saying you believe in higher power. I believe in uh, source energy, light. I believe in light, uh, okay. like quantum physics, that kind of thing. I believe in that we are we come from a light. I mean, oh, this makes sense now. Are you a um, – what's the word when they believe in nothing that you just died? Uh, I'm not atheist. Oh, okay, because atheists are um, very – every atheist i ever known is dead inside, and they're dark. I am dead not, inside. They're not happy. I am dark and not they're happy. They're almost cardboard. Yeah. Those things are yeah. true. It's sad um, for you. <laughs> but I would identify as a agnostic. And what that means oh, is... Oh, please. Agnostic is just the new word for atheist. No, 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 not no, no, sound no, no. like just... No, an atheist says God is not real. Right. Nothing is real. We're here. We're living. And then we die. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, I don't know. Right. Until I see something, that's when I see it or feel it or it's been proven. That's when I'll believe it. Mm-hmm. Until then, I'm not saying God doesn't okay. exist. I'm so just saying science, I haven't seen him. So Nothing the, has shown me The exists. universe has been proven, though. The planets, right? Right. So... Why can't you accept that astrology, though simplistic in its cartoonish form, the bull, the can, the crab, the all that, right. those they had to make those cartoon pitch those pictures to explain characteristics of what Saturn. If I said to you that Saturn in conjunction with Venus in retrograde at this in the third house, you'd be like, "What are you talking about?" So they have to make it simplistic, saying like the Taurus is a stubborn kind. I, of, so it's just it's, I don't believe there has been any scientific evidence. To say that if you are born at a certain time of the year, your personality will be different from that. It is. It, there is evidence because I haven't. They seen have it. done the well because you haven't done the research. Have I've you done ever? The research. Have you ever studied astrology? I sure have. You're a liar. So everyone listening, Ari likes to lie. I not only have I studied astrology, you I was actually a professional astrologist for four and a half years before uh, I did stand up. That's what comedy. I feel about all your <laughs> bullshit right now. I can, it's way too early in the afternoon for me to tolerate bullshit. It's not early in the afternoon. It's two p.m. That's so Ari wants to say that I'm stupid, and I want to say that he's just a bullshit artist that should never be. 
be believed. Not only am I not a bullshit artist, I'm a professional therapist. I'm a professional oh, unlicensed okay, yeah. therapist. So let's, okay. So so that I can get I'm on here, board with. I'm here to help you. <laughs> and the first piece of help is you need to know what's fake and what isn't. Oh, you and poor straight thing. guys that fuck dudes you poor is thing. fake. Oh, you poor thing. Ari, have you ever been with a straight dude? No. So then you don't know. I cannot. One thing I can't do is allow you to continue on Stanley <laughs> Avenue and Hollywood Boulevard with this, 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 like this, this air of you knowing things. When you poor little baby, I want to put you in my arms and just. I want to put you in a basket on a bicycle and take you around and show you the world. Like you need to experience life more because you don't have any information to back up any of your opinions. And I want you to have these opinions. I want you to have the correct. Hey, I'll tell you what I. You have I'm sure no this is going to be a hard thing to pull off. Go ahead. But I will happily mm -hmm. uh, would love to talk, meet, and interview a straight guy that you fucked. First of all, a I'm sure I could find someone who's confident enough to talk about it live. Yeah. But most of the authentics. This goes with. Yeah, I would love to talk to an authentic. Right. This goes yeah. with the authentic. Um, when when you're with an authentic, it's uh -huh. all about DL. You can, there's no talking about it afterwards. There's no talking even in it. When I'm with an authentic, right? Because they're a closeted homosexual. No, 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 mm. no, no. Because it's not about communicating or connection. It's just the sex. It's just it's just jerking off. It's pure jungle. Get that nut out. <laughs> That's it. It's pure manhood. That's but it. But what about after they nut? Get the nut out. Out. Okay. Get out of the house. Get out of the apartment. We're done. Can you say, hey, uh, I understand you're going to leave and this was just a jungle fever thing or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> this, was, this was just in the moment sexual um, uh, stuff. But uh, will you just talk to my friend Ari real quick? He really wants to talk to an authentic. <laughs> No, I would Have never, you ever told I would him? never expose him like that because that's part of code. That's well, part no, of no, code. you ask permission. You're not saying I'm going to expose nope. you. You say, would you? Oh, no. Would even you be the willing? thought, even suggesting that to him would put him in such a shamble that I would never do right, that to my. Right, because then he'd have to question if he's straight or gay. No, he would have to question if I'm going to tell people or not. Um, let me ask you this. Do you ever. I mean, there, I know you say they, you guys have your sexual thing and then they bounce. Right. But there's got to be some small talk before and after. And do you ever explain to them your theory on authentics? I don't like small talking before because then it's like sometimes there's gay guys who are pretending to be inauthentic. And then like the more they talk, I'm like, oh, God, you got to go. <laughs> so you acknowledge that yes, many authentics are, are, yeah. are gay. 100%. Okay. Yes. You know what? I could yes. I could agree. Absolutely. That if you got to sift through. That there's, there's, there's straight men mm -hmm. that exist in the world yeah. that ha have sex with men. Not, not but often, it's but it's so sometimes. tiny yes. that I would say the majority of men you've been with are either are, bi or gay. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Or pretending to be authentic. That's why when you get an authentic, like a real authentic, yeah. it's like a diamond in the rough. Yeah. It is the best. It is like it's like an actual key lime pie that's good. Okay. That's what it's like. I, I'll, like if I'll you get, get a key lime pie and you're like, wow, that was actually really good. That's that's because most of it's shit. That's an authentic. That's like a real. Who, where's the best key lime pie you've ever had? Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake. They have man. a great key lime pie. I'll try it. I've never um, had good key lime pie. I I'm always say, oh, it, it, most key lime pie is shit. It's disgusting. It's either lemony or lime. It's like, what is key lime even, right? Right. So that's why you never really get a good one. Um, I say, for me, finding an authentic is my version of fishing. Like, straight guys will go f wake up 4 a.m. to get to the lake or wherever How you find the fish. How do you go about finding an authentic? What's your strategy? Well, it used, they used to have Craigslist. That's closed down now. They oh, you down. can't find uh, no. They closed down the yeah. It's done. Personal ads are done. They they finished. Okay, it. so what's so, your new, what have you gone to? Well, now I honestly, to be honest, I don't really do it that much anymore because I'm like I'm trying to build my career. I got shit to do. I'm worried mm -hmm. about opening for Theo Vaughn. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, you know, I, gotta, I mean, don't you you headline? I right? headline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's why it's like that's why I was saying I'm in a weird position yeah. where I'm a headliner, but there are dudes that are bigger than sure. me that I want that I respect enough. Yeah. But my old agent used to not let me open for people he used to be like no theo's on our roster blah, 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 blah. you can't do it but i'd be like but yeah but i love theo he's so dope and i could use the cash and i could use the the looks you know like i yeah. want to go do it uh but now theo's like popping popping you know more yeah. than i am at this point sure. so it's like hell yeah I, my thing is like i don't it's all about pride who gives a shit like if yeah. i respect the comic i don't care like i'm not gonna carry his bags i'm not gonna you know what i'm saying like i'm not gonna do that but like 
I'll open for you. I would love to open for you. If I respect you, fuck yeah, sure. I'll open for you. Yeah, yeah. You know, just like when I'm when I have my openers that are friends, I don't look at them as like lesser comics than sure. me or like the fact that they're not headlining because it's all semantics in this bullshit industry. It's such bullshit. How about we just do a good show? Yeah. How about I any comic that I ever bring on the road with me is my buddy and I believe is a good comic. I don't right. want a shit. I'm not worried about you doing better than me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so it's like. I want a good comic. Yeah, it's always weird to me when I meet someone who's like, oh, I can't bring them, they're too good. I'm That's like, crazy. Yeah. yeah, and it's always, by the way, 90% of the time, it's not even true. Like, right. like they are good, but but they're not too good. Mm-hmm. The, the audience is there to see you. Right, You're exactly. just different comics. You're going to yeah. do great, even though mm-hmm. they did great. 100%. I mean, do I need a sassy girl before me? No, because that's my act. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's different. So, so you wouldn't bring another uh, uh, flamboyant gay guy. Not, you're not I, even flamboyant. Not flamboyant. Yeah, no, you're not flamboyant. I don't no. know why I said that, but yeah. you know what I mean. Well, because you like to be in the box, and yeah. that's your problem. Yeah, you're so, flamboyant. Yeah, that's your problem. Yeah, you're, 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 like, you're, you're a flamboyant yeah, gay you, guy. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, yeah. that's the only gay guy I know, so that's the one time uh, says that's My uncle's sorry. gay, my younger brother's gay. Mm. I have a lot of gay in my life. Wait, which I can do brother? 15 the one minutes I met? on gays. The one that uh, I met? I don't know if I don't think you met him. He's 18. Oh, okay. No, yeah, I didn't meet he him. just came out of the closet Aww, um, what a, cutie. a few months ago. Aww. And um, Good for him. Good for him. Poor that he sucks that he was you as a brother. Right before he went to college. Uh-huh. I mean, I I make fun of him and called him a faggot his whole life. Yeah, of course. But I could imagine. Um, but no, I don't have I don't judge him for being gay. I mean, no, it's great. It would be stupid too, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's like so crazy. My dad. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah, right. It's like, it's like, <laughs> he he told my parents while they were he like drove them home from the airport, mm-hmm. and they were in bed, and he walked in their room and said, "Hey, I wanted to tell you guys something. I'm gay," and they're like, "We're oh, we're proud of you. We want you to Good. be happy." Blah yeah. blah blah. And then he told me over text message mm-hmm. between me and my other brother. He said, hey, why don't you hear it from me first? I just came out to mom and dad. And I said, over text, question mark. Mm-hmm. And then he said, what, do you want me to throw you a dinner? And then I was like, guess not. And then I said, okay. To, and then oh, I, he's as nasty as you are? Oh, I, yeah. I mean, we're <laughs> all, we bully each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, and yeah. then my other brother's name is Milan. Mm-hmm. I said, okay, Milan, your turn. Because mm. I always thought Milan was the uh, gay one. Milan sounds like the one I would want to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the one you want. So. Yeah. Then uh, my dad called me the next day and he said, did you hear about John? I said, mm-hmm. yeah, he told me. And I go, what do you think? And he goes, uh, I'll get over it. Oh, my God. That's horrible. <laughs> no, that's funny. I mean, yeah, I guess. But it's like, yes, everything's funny. I'm, no, I'm on board here's that, the thing. Like, my dad. It sucks that like here's where his place is so from. hung up. No, that's here's all, here's where my here's I'll explain it's my dad. Stupid, I'll explain honest. my dad. Yeah. It's not stupid. My it my what my dad's <laughs> thinking is that. What? Is he's saying I'll get over it? Meaning, it just um, you know he didn't. We didn't see it coming. So maybe I'll get used to it. I'll get used to it. To say he, get over it is meaning he's on some shit. No, he meant he meant like I'll get used. This to is it. a new thing that I that I have to that I'm fine with, but right. I it, I'm not used to it yet. I think that's what right. he meant. And that's and I, my thing is that it sucks that straight people are so hung up. Like get over it. Guess what? Guess what? I had to change every fucking word from every love song from him, her to him to her to him. <laughs> I got over it. Like, get over yourselves, straight people. Like, fucking grow up to every straight person in the world. Grow the fuck up. <laughs> it's my, like, God. My dad Y'all expressed need some contrast this in your life. <laughs> my dad expressed this sentiment to me is yeah. that he, he, his biggest concern mm-hmm. with my brother being gay mm-hmm. is he didn't want him to have to, like, Go through what the being, glorious being, life that you no, have. No, no, no. Like he, everyone goes through shit. No, yeah, but he he was worried. My dad's such a nice guy mm-hmm. that his biggest concern with it was like, I hope he doesn't get made fun of. I hope he doesn't have to go through a struggle for being gay. Like I hope he's accepted by. And everyone. that's on straight people. The only people not the only people making it hard for gay people are straight people. So y'all need to just talk or to each other. Closeted homosexuals. Authentics. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, so they are the same. No, I'm saying probably most of the people who are really homophobic are, right, are closeted queens. Yeah, mm-hmm. are big queens. Yeah, 100%. I listen, I listen to this or podcast. Or straight people who are like, I'll get over it. <laughs> like, just get over it. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit that stuff out about my dad. No, your He's dad's a good a guy. Man. He's a wonderful man. He has no homophobia That's... in his heart. 
No, I'm not saying yeah. it's homophobic, but this is these are the small layer. These are the like in the nuances that I pick up on. He's an I, old man. No, no, no. Here's yeah. the thing. Listen, I come from a, my dad's an ex cop from Brooklyn. I understand. Okay, mm-hmm. my, they just started saying the word gay. They're comfortable. <laughs> okay, and I came out when I was 18. So like I get same it. age as my you know brother. What I'm saying yeah, that's usually when we when we do it. Um, unless you're a big queen, like my, I have a queen friend who was out that's 15 because it's like, honey, you ain't hiding that shit. You or know? the opposite, they'll come out when they're like 40 and then they go way out. Well, th- at that point, they're transgender. <laughs> <laughs> when they come out at 40, then now they're a woman. They're like, well, now I can only be an older woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you don't have to edit that. That's a, the nuances. I want people to understand. There's more to just it, like we got past straight people accepting it. Now, for me, I want to shine light on the nuances of things like that. Like your dad's a great man. He's a strong father. He's an amazing man. But all straight, they say, I'll get over it. Because those little things, they don't realize it, that they need to get over shit. You know what I'm saying? That straight yeah. people really, there's more straight, not your father, all straight right. people. That's what I'm saying. I was listening yeah. to uh, this podcast recently mm-hmm. on uh, NPR. It's called Radio Lab, mm-hmm. And they did like a three-part special on homosexuality. Mm-hmm. And there was this guy who led the uh, he started the uh gay conversion camps okay the religious gay conversion yes. camps yeah. and he it was like the he was the president of the biggest one that yeah. took thousands of kids and tried to make them straight yeah and then he is now a uh, of course, a homosexual, homosexual. Of lives course with yeah. A man in Texas. that's yeah that he's trying to release the demons from himself yeah that's like that movie boy erased that that's out with yeah the yeah kid it, was, it was yeah. uh it was based on him uh-huh. that yeah, movie yeah. was based uh-huh. on this guy yeah and that's all the true stuff that's mike pence that's what they support they they fund that they give money to those those uh organizations and chick-fil-a they the ceo gives money do you, do you eat you, at chick-fil-a no, i don't and I'm not a boycotter. Um, I don't tell people they should boycott it. Mm. I just know where the money's going. Yeah. So it's like if I if Wendy's CEO was giving money to like slave trade, I wouldn't eat Wendy's. I wouldn't boycott it. But I'm like, well, I'm what not going to someone give my had. Money. Um, let me ask you this. Yeah. Let's say I catered this podcast for Chick Fil A and I had free Chick Fil A here. Mm-hmm. Would you eat that? Would I eat it because the money already went to it? Yeah. Um. Huh. That's a very like good like I question. didn't tell you about it. Yeah. You just came and I got. I'm like, I got us Chick Fil A. Right. And it's not my money. It was already bought. I bought it. Yeah, so I guess uh, that's a good... You know what? Finally, after all these years of knowing you, you finally come up with a good question. <laughs> <laughs> and some not, some bullshit. <laughs> um, I'm torn between it, to be honest with you. I, uh, if, if I don't eat Chick-fil-A because I'm not giving my money towards them because that money goes to hate dollars um, and you already bought it, it would be silly of me not to eat it because I'm not boycotting the product. Mm-hmm. So I guess I would eat it, yeah. Are you willing to it's say... It's not like... I'm, if I said to you, go brief, get your money back, that's different. Right. But I, but I couldn't. And yeah. I wouldn't go through all that. Um, now, if I just, uh, you know, just told you that mm-hmm. this podcast was sponsored by Chick-fil-A, would you still be a guest on the podcast? No. That they were funding the mm-hmm. operation of unlicensed no, therapy? No, no, no. Will you just say into the camera... Chick Fil A makes a great chicken sandwich. <laughs> Just say it one time. Uh, the money that goes to Chick Fil A's sandwiches go to ha- helping kids um, kill kill children. Actually, it kills children. It causes suicides. You mean? No, they actually kill children. They gut them and put it in the chicken sandwich that you're eating. <laughs> so enjoy the if, chicken yeah, sandwich. Yeah, if you eat Chick Fil A, you're eating dead dead children. Dead enjoy children. enjoy your hate sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what if you? What if because you said that mm-hmm. they sue you? And Go then they win again. Give me some shine. Maybe then I'll be able to open for Theo Vaughn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? Steal my job. Get me a couple more followers, you know? Every time I open for him, I get about 200 followers. Yeah, Theo's the man, dude. I wouldn't just open up for Joe Schmo. You know what I'm saying? Like, Theo's a, someone I would go open for. Because yeah. I Who think else he's would worth you go it. open for? Um, I would open for Delia. I think Delia's awesome. Um, uh, Theo, I would open for. Um, out of like peers, that's really it. I think. Oh, did you start around the same time as them? No, but they're or like they're just... I still think of them as friends. Yeah. Um, but they're just bigger than me. Right. Like my like my friends, friends that are like same thing. I we would open for each other. I guess like, I guess we would just do it as out of fun. Yeah. But like I see them as peers, not like they're like you know, not yeah. like you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everyone has peers that right rise. They're peers. But I didn't. I would say I started. Well, I'm in twelve years in. How long has Theo been doing it? Theo's been doing it for a while. I think longer than that. Yeah, but yeah, I don't yeah. Know. 
That's so cool. my peers are more like Grant Cotter, Amir K, um, Michael Blaustein, um, Annie Letterman, one of my greatest girls, Jesse Mae Peluso. Those are my peers. Who's your most successful peer? Um, out of my peers, peers, Amir at this point, Amir's doing okay. great. Yeah, yeah Amir's doing great. It. I mean, um, we're all successful in our own way. Artistically, I mean, who is uh, your of all your peers? Who is the worst comedian? <laughs> You're so stupid. None of them. I don't <laughs> hang out with bad comedians. How's that? Um, what'd you say? Who? I said I don't. Hang you out say? With, I don't hang out with bad comedians. What's his name? <laughs> Ari Man. That's his name. <laughs> I, know, I wish I was a peer. <laughs> no, I'm the, I'm the new guy. Yeah, you're you're my uh, my mentor. Yes, yes. I tell everyone Thomas Dale is my comedy mentor. I show you how yeah. to get in the box. You show me how to break out of the box <laughs> and have sex with yeah. men, and just know that I'm still straight, even though I have sex with yes. men. Yes. And you're not having sex with them. You're just bro baiting. You're getting it off. You're being a boy. You know. You're just nothing like, wrong with that. Just it's like wrong basically with that. the same thing as having a double teaming a woman. The Eiffel Tower. Yeah, it's there's the nothing same wrong thing. with that. Yeah, she's a beautiful woman. She Dude, deserves two men. You're watching the football game. You ran out of dip. You you know you you're done with your girl. Went to go get some more chips and dip. You want to get it out real quick. The halftime is on, right? The right. halftime is on. You're not interested in the show because you're not gay. Not, if you're not gay, you're interested in the show. Zero but you're percent not, gay. Zero percent gay. But you still have a nut that needs to come out. Mm -hmm. So what do we do? I don't know. Let's talk about pussies, some boobies, whatever it is you straight guys talk okay, about. So and you get the nut out. Let me ask you this. Yeah. So and at the same time you get the nut out, you enjoy looking at a nice hard dick. Because you wouldn't, you, it, you can appreciate. You can appreciate, you can appreciate a nice dick. It's a throbbing, Even if you don't yes. want it, you can of say course, that's a nice dude, dick. It's, 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 uh, Just it's, like you could say that's a nice set of tits. Of course, they're beautiful tits. So let me ask you this. Yeah, you're, um, you would identify as a gay man. Yeah, but you're a sexual being. Mm -hmm. Would you have a threesome with a girl? You'd have sex with a girl, mm -hmm. but so that you could like look at another man's dick. It's not about the another man's dick. It's about like I love to watch straight guys have sex with girls. I think that's hot. Yeah. So I would be there for that. I had well, there was this one time this girl um, brought her boyfriend over to. She wanted to watch him blow me. So oh, she yeah, was like on the chair. That. I told you she was on the chair and she was playing finger on herself and he was blowing me. He was like, "Babe, come here. I want to like eat you out and stuff." She was like, "Nope, this is hot. I love this." And it was like a score. Was she for me. fat? No, she had big boobs and just skinny, small waist. She was hot. White, white, yeah. Wow. In Long Island, yeah. And um, people are crazy over in New York. When, uh, yeah, when people, people are, are just, condensed into a city, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course, people just get crazier. But it's freedom. It's 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 sexual exploration. It's hot. It's mm -hmm. it's just dick. You know. Like, Do you wear like, rubbers? He was just blowing me. I don't have intercourse. But when you do, do you wear rubber? I don't have intercourse. Ever? The only person I've ever had sex with was my ex-boyfriend. You've Ricky. had sex with one man <laughs> yes, your whole life? I know. It's what? crazy, yes. You're saving yourself for marriage. No, I just is like, intercourse is like such a hassle, you know? like On I both just, ends? To have to have it and receive it? To give of course. Receive? Oh my God, receive it. <laughs> Who has time to receive it? What the one man you had sex with? Did you give? I was and receiving. Take? I Receive. loved him, so I was giving him my me. And then have you? What about the opposite end? Um, I mean, I'm not bragging, but like, I'm I'm big, so like uh -huh. when I did it to him, it was a little extra. Wow. Yeah. So I couldn't do. It was more him doing fucking me. Wow. Yeah. And he fucking tortured my whole life, so I was being fucked all around, you know. So. All right. Let's take a call. <laughs> on that no list. <laughs> Ari's hard right now. Yeah, I've an uh, he has an erection, a full Hiding Jewish it. erection. Mm -hmm. I, I'm pretty big myself. I'm sure Jew boys. I love Jew boys. I'll uh, tell you what. I will never. Um, I'll show you my penis mm -hmm. under one circumstance. What's the circumstance? Uh, I'll let you watch me. You yeah. find me a, a pretty girl. Oh, I have I'll to I'll let do you all watch. The you have work? to do all the work. Oh my god. How, how bad do you want to see it? Not that bad. <laughs> 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 well, I just got to tease you some more. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. This is from Tim Hulls. Okay, he's calling in with a problem, and we're gonna give him some. Yeah, advice. let's do it. Sponsored by. Oh wait, fuck! I gotta connect it. Excuse me, one second. You do have a bulge. Now that you say you have a nice big cock, I'm looking at your package, and it's nice. It's there. It's pretty good. Yeah. Solid. Good for him. It's black and veiny, but it's good size. Black too. and veiny. I did a bait boot camp the other day. Looking great. Yeah. Okay, bro. this is from Tim Halls calling in. Where is he? 
I am seeking advice on my relationship. Gay or straight? You're such an idiot. <laughs> Obviously, I have gay. a lot of gay callers. Yes, Obviously, yeah. gay. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know yet. Yeah, totally gay. Ari right. knows nothing. I am <laughs> seeking advice on my relationship with money. I say straight. Uh, I've kind no, of only a gay guy struggled with, with it in the past, and I honestly don't want to <laughs> struggle with it anymore. I'd, I'd like some kind of assistance uh you know in, in helping me transform my relationship why does he sound like he's in a bank by, vault by right now i'm robbing some bank. blind spots um i know i have some and kind of seeing seeing what's there that i'm that i'm not seeing i really think that there's there's a block what? between me and talking yeah, about abundantly yeah. and having financial freedom so that's really Is what i'm looking cricket? for i don't really <laughs> i don't really understand even i'm gonna play it one more time i don't really yeah. understand what he's asking he has a problem with his. I a, am yeah. seeking advice on my relationship with money. Uh, I've kind of struggled with it in the past, and I do. honestly yeah, don't he's, <laughs> struggle with it anymore. He stopped like shoving it up your ass, sir. <laughs> uh, you know, that's and that's and not where money goes. Money goes in the bank. Money by, you want to by change your relationship? <laughs> <blind spots laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? This I'm guy is on so much meth right, right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like three in the afternoon. He's hiding in his garage. Abundantly and having financial freedom. So that's really what I'm looking for. Well then, I mean, I think you're an idiot, dude. It's like you make more money. Then I, I don't know. What, what I is, think in so many words, Ari, he just asked you to he, if he, he could pay you to see his dick. That's <laughs> what to see your dick. I think that's what he's doing there. I mean, the right price. I'd show someone my dick. Yeah, I mean, you'd I'll, be I'll stupid have sex not with a to. man for the right price. Of course, you'd be stupid not to. And again, yeah. it, always this guy, always going back to he has to have sex. You can come on a dude's face and they'll pay you. That'd be, I'd yeah. do that for even less money. That's than what I'm saying. Sex. Yeah, like you're uh, just like, you, cause that's how I know you're an authentic <laughs> because you don't know the rules. I don't know the rules. I this guy, <laughs> um, okay, you're pro- you want to change your relationship with money? Uh, you got to, I mean, I don't know. You got to work harder. I don't know what to say. But Make what is his money. relationship with money? Is it an abusive relationship? Is it a, a, a codependent relationship? Is it an enabling relationship? What is it? I don't yeah, even know. Yeah, Does he have it? Much, Does he not have yeah, it? Yeah, you didn't give enough details. Do you want more of it? Yeah. Do you want to be less materialistic? I yeah, mean, like, are it's you, really, what are you doing? You either got to spend less or make more. That's, yeah. that's the two things. Yeah. Or, Appreciate the little things. Or spend a lot and... Just and be free with it. Be like, just go into massive amounts of debt. Yes, because <laughs> the world. Can end, yeah, the world. You don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't recommend that because I'll say this: mm-hmm. going into massive amounts of debt is selfish. Because why? You're taking it. That money goes some is from somewhere. So whether you're taking money from the credit card companies or from society, when you're spending money, you're you're taking it. Can I say something? Yeah. Um, coffee bean. You guys need to stop with, I get that you're like trying to be cute with the little pieces of ice, the pebbles of ice, the different Mm -hmm. kind of ice. I just want ice because the little pieces of ice come through the fucking straw and it gets in my mouth and then I got to chew this little thing. I don't want a slush puppy. I want iced coffee. Maybe have the option for both because I kind of like the little... You Ice would. Pebbles. You w- definitely would. Why? Michael, why you would know I? Nothing about anything. Okay, <laughs> that's why. We get. We can't have a difference of opinion on ice pebbles now. It's no, not one you know side. Nothing. Because th- you like getting jammed up. I'm getting a yeah, nice. Yeah, I like flow. to chew ice. I'm sexually frus- frustrated. I like chewing ice. Look, look. I just took a little slip of ice coffee, <laughs> and now I have fucking pebbles of ice in my thing. So that's ice how I is feel. nice. Okay, next caller. We'll do one more call. Uh, Rupali. This is uh, mm, RuPaul. That's like a ghetto ass. That's a broken Hello there, down version universe. of Rupaul. How are you doing? Black woman? Well, I woke up this morning. And straight? Straight black? No, that's, White? A, that's a transgender person. This is not a transgender <laughs> person. <laughs> She's coming from the corner of Highland, Bolo- Highland Ru- and Sanctuary. RuPaul could be uh, Indian, maybe. RuPaul! RuPaul? Yeah. I don't know. Okay, we'll find out. Or we won't. We won't. Hello there, universe. What's How it? you doing? Universe? <laughs> well, Indian. I woke up this morning and I realized... Bangladesh. I that I have a cock. <laughs> ...that how incomplete my life is. Oh, my God. She's gonna, is she going to kill herself right now? So, <laughs> she could. Jesus Christ, here nervous. I am asking you, what is it? What is it that I can do? What is it that I can do that I wake up and I feel like Indian. I'm living a fulfilled life? Get the fuck out of bed and stop calling that? Ari Manis. I really need your advice. What can I do to have a fulfilled life? I mean, yeah, you got to do something. I'll, I'll tell you what. You got to find something yeah. that you like to do that makes you 
feel fulfilled. So maybe that's painting a picture. Maybe that's drawing. Maybe that's writing a poem. Find something creative. Painting a pit. Oh maybe that's God. helping someone. Maybe that's volunteering at your local local homeless there shelter. There you go. See, now you're talking. It took you a couple of tries, but now you got something good. Both both are good. No. Painting a picture. Depending on what you like I to hate do. when people say that. Painting a picture. Yeah. Blah, 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 I'm done. What's next? Doing something for like Down syndrome children or homeless people. Um, that's a beautiful Painting a thing. picture for homeless people. Painting a picture with homeless people. With homeless people. No, guess what? If I'm homeless and your ass comes up to me and says, you want to paint a picture, I'm going to kick you in your balls. It takes your mind off of being homeless. Nothing it can take you your escape. mind off being homeless, you bro. Have you ever seen them? For just a moment. Have you ever seen? No, there's no escaping it. Your the knuckles are crusting off their hands. <laughs> there's nothing escaping when Maybe you're homeless. Maybe go give homeless people baths. No. It's like when I go through, uh, when I'm bipolar, so it's like when I go through my depression. I'm not anymore because I'm on medicine, but I, people are like, just stretch. <laughs> I go, fucking one more person tells they me to wake to up stretch? in the morning. They say, wake up in the morning and stretch. <laughs> That's seriously what someone said? Yes. To combat bipolar yeah, disorder? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, stretch. You just got to stretch yeah. more, dude. Do yo- if one more person tells me to do exercise. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, you yeah. obviously don't know. Huh. Yeah. Oh, stretch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I should have thought That's about that. That's why I'm bipolar. Yeah. I haven't stretched yeah. my whole yeah, life. Exactly. Yeah. You're right. In gym class, I always used to skip stretching. Mm-hmm. And now I'm bipolar. Yeah, now, that yeah. makes sense. My aunt was an arsonist. <laughs> and now she should have just stretched. <laughs> she didn't need all the vodka and liquor. Now. She needed to stretch. Yeah, so it's like the, telling a homeless person to draw. Okay, I think homeless. Some homeless people probably really like to draw. I think you're, no. you know, you're putting these homeless people into a box. No. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, that's where I'm, I'm with Ari Box Manus. Yeah, you're boxing up these homeless people, which might be the solution to the Los Angeles homeless problem. I don't know. I'm not saying it Box is. Box them up? Box them up. Oh, they would love it. I don't know what the solution you is. Me? There's so many of them. We I, have a city of homeless people here. Well, to be honest with you, on a serious note, homeless, that's one of my one of my um, passion things is that I want to help would, If you people. were the mayor of Los Angeles. Yes. Governor Calvin, whatever the position is that can address this issue, what right. would you do to address the homeless crisis in Los Angeles County? Um, get funding and build uh, buildings that will house them. Like so they, you would build giant um, huge apartment shelters. complexes and shelters that can house all these homeless But people. within the home, they're all, most of 90% of them are mentally ill. So within mm-hmm. these homeless, it's rehabilitation centers. Within these communities, you you're need not to just have, giving uh, them a house. You need crews. therapy. You need doctors. This would be billions of dollars probably. It's better than billions this. of dollars on a wall, you know, that they're trying to build. So. Well, I mean, you and know, honestly, are we just going to let everyone in here? I don't think it would be billions of dollars, honestly. It would be a lot because yeah, there's like 100,000 homeless people in Los Yeah, Angeles. but I think that like, again, you're not putting them up in park on Park Avenue. I mean, build, you know, just like something with a wall, you know, put them in like what they put the kids in when they were coming to Mexico. Put them in something like that. Yeah. You know, but like give rehabilitation, give therapy, mm-hmm. get medications, you know. Well, I don't know if they, some of them need medications. Some of them are far gone. Yeah. Some of them are just mentally Yeah. Some of them the rest like bad, like bad, yeah. bad, bad. Yeah. But a crazy. lot of them, a good shower will do, you know, a good shower, but a couple I of nails. I think nail all of them, them should be, I, I think um, if you smell really bad, mm-hmm. it should be a law that you have to shower. I think it should be illegal to yeah, be as that dirty as some of them are. That's not just homeless people. There are, there are people that I know with a home that smell disgusting. Yeah, I think it yeah. should be illegal to smell that bad. And also for everyone anyone. should get their, always go for dental cleanings. A lot of people I, who suffer from bad breath, it's because they're not getting, they're not flossing and I they're not floss. getting, you have to floss. I've never, you don't, I've never smelled your breath. It's not bad. My gums bleed. <gasps> Ari. I floss. That's not going to, you're, you, how old are you now? 28, 29. 29? Yeah. I'm so not gingivitis. You're going to have, dis, no, be, gingivitis will be the least of your problems. You're going to have disgusting breath by the time you're 35. If you don't go for a deep clean, I'm sure I go for a deep clean like once every four years or so. But you would, ha- you wouldn't have to do the deep clean if you flossed. Right. You know, yeah, so yeah. just floss. No, you're right. It's a, it's an issue I'm battling. Good. I'm well, not, I'm not perfect. I'm close to perfect. You're far from perfect. I'm pretty close. <laughs> I have a few <laughs> things. One of my things, one of my <laughs> imperfections, if I'm being honest, which I'm willing to be for you guys is I don't floss enough. You don't. Yeah. At all. Apparently. That's one of my few imperfections and I'll admit it. I'm willing to admit it. You don't. Oh my God. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little nauseated right now. When's the last time you flossed? few months ago <gasps> oh. i brush a lot i brush twice <laughs> I a day i brush twice I a day yeah all you're doing is i've never had a cavity the gunk in your i've never had a cavity that's fine i that's fine that you need to get the shit out in between your in the you're right. your gums do you're right it. i just agree do it once i admit a day. it 
Yeah. Once a, if not one, no, once a week. I agree. Do it, okay? I admit it. Can you at yeah. least do it once a week for me? Mm-hmm. Please? Mm-hmm. Okay. You want and me to you'll be happier. If I send you a video, would you enjoy the video? Nope. You're not into that? Nope. It would I Do you can't. have any weird fetishes besides um, um what what's it called? Uh besides authentics? authentics? Yeah. Um I don't think I'm really I'm not that really like I like to pretend um I love role playing. I don't know if that's I like to pretend I'm being robbed or like um like violated, like that kind of thing. I think that's pretty hot. Naughty boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Like a break oh, how'd you get in here? You know? I like that stuff. Do you have any problems or issues in your life that I could help you with? Um, let's see that you could help me with. I mean, I, I'm For an expert on everything. Podcast, of course. Um, no, but also I'm genuinely, yeah, I'm an expert on everything. Okay. That's fine. I'm really knowledgeable on every topic He's not. and I, I can definitely help you. Okay. I'll play. I've helped a lot of people. <laughs> have you? Mm-hmm. Give me one. <laughs> a- any guest on this podcast I've helped. Has Theo ever come on the podcast? Not yet. Okay. He's a hard, he's a hard man. It's, you know, what's well, weird. I will him? give Theo. He's, no, he I'm told me give... he would. He, and, yeah. and and he just won't. <laughs> <laughs> I've never I've never straight up said, "Will you do it?" And he told me he would, but it's like, how do you ask someone who already does so much for you mm-hmm. for another thing? Right? Yeah, I no, could, Theo's but a good, just, I've asked him and I've told him, "Dude, as a favor, as a friend," and he's like, "For you, I will," because because usually he's like, "Make sure you have a lot of episodes up," you know. And I get it. Like, I don't wouldn't you know? There's been people who put me on their podcast like when they first started it. Yeah, and I'm friends with them, so and then like, the podcast dies that, a week yeah, later yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. So I get yeah. it. I totally get it. Um. Uh, Theo, come do your boy's podcast. Like, give him I, a I'm, I'm going to ask him. I'm waiting day. for the right it's moment. Like, we all need to get over ourselves. It's, it's you know? weird that I'm scared to ask him, but I'll ask him. We all need to get over ourselves. Come give Ari an hour of your day, my man. Yeah. That's it. You know? Um, what can you help me with? Okay. Okay. Here. You know what? Uh, this is what I've been... For 2019, because I have been making a lot of changes and a lot of strides. Um, I'm going to be, I'm a lot easier to be with her. And like I say, yes, to a lot of things I go with the flow. I used to be the type of person that always had to like tell people, uh, what I felt. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you, when someone asks you like, Oh, how's your day? Or how do you keep it simple? Because I, give you're them, saying when someone says, how's it going? You're not the type that goes, Oh, it's going well. How are you? Right, you like, actually yeah, unload yeah, yeah, how your yeah, day is yeah. going. Not unload, but like, I'll give it to them or like. Just be more easygoing. How do you be more easygoing? First off, I from my perspective, yeah. you're pretty easygoing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Um, okay. I don't, I don't, I don't know anyone that would describe you as like he's kind of yeah, I'm not uptight lot, or even a lot yeah. to deal. I don't think right. people. You're not. No one's like ah, he's a little much for me. Right, like, right, I don't, right. No okay, one, I've never then heard you describe okay, that's as good that way. Know. That's good. And I would tell you good. if they did. I know that's what I. I would definitely yeah. tell you. Okay, good. Because people have described a lot of bad things are said about you. People talk tons of shit. Like I doubt a lot of things. Like. You have a lot of problems for sure. Let's hear it. Uh, no. <laughs> hey, liar. That's not Ari, really liar, menace. Um, but I mean, it's all about your relationship with that person. And right. you could tell when they ask, ask, do you think they genuinely want to know? No, because but I don't care. That's the problem. The problem is, is that I don't like I just am an honest person. So I'm like, oh, here, you know, oh, well, you know. That agent really fucked me up, you know that kind of thing. It's like, yeah, but TMI. I mean, still, you're you're an honest guy yeah. for sure. Yeah, but exactly, it's TMI. So certain people, maybe you barely know them, and right, you're like, right, right. they don't really care. Right, right. And I don't really care to tell them. You mm-hmm. gotta, you gotta. I guess you gotta be a little bit more of an asshole. You Less say. caring. Yeah, you're yeah. Right, and you're if right. someone That's who true. you've only met two times says, "How's it going?" You go, "It's good, man. How are you? How are you doing?" Right. I There's nothing wrong so with that. No one would be yeah. like. Oh, what a liar. It's right. not going good for him. Why right, is he right, telling right. me it's going good? Or right. you could go, uh, you know, I have things to complain about, but overall I'm healthy and I'm yeah, happy and that, I'm, that's what I'm the, glad yeah. to see you. How's it going with you? That's a good thing because that's can, what I've been doing. I've been starting to just say like, oh, listen, we're alive, but it's like I don't want to sound too hippy-dippy, you know? My, my go-to thing is like, uh, you know, I have nothing real to complain about. I say that That's because I definitely have things I want to complain of about. Of course. But then when I say them out loud, I feel kind of dumb. Yeah. Because I'm yeah. like, I'm complaining about that. Right. Like, what a white person problem to mm-hmm. have. 100%. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I always say that to people. I go, listen, we're not in a hospital bed, so we're good. You know, it's like. It's tough. You know, I want to complain. It's like, am I one of the best win, no. comedians in the entire <laughs> world? Yeah. And do I get yeah. the respect I deserve? No, I don't. No. You don't Everyone think, says you, it. No, you get the respect you deserve. No, I sure don't. <laughs> you get the respect you deserve. Ari deserves more respect because 
He's so authentic. It's you're so real and honest. Are you I calling me you, gay? I, when I you call me authentic, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing there. Is this some mind game where you're calling me gay? I'm gonna give you advice right now, okay? okay yeah. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna be honest with you. Let me okay. be honest and real with you. Okay. If you start being more. Because Luke Schwartz has this same problem that you That have, I do? I yes. Oh, yes. I already am mad at you. What yes. are you going to say? You and okay. Luke have the same I issue. don't agree. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. what? Just be genuine. Like, all the time. We don't need the, con- the, the you know, you, you know it's, like, it's, like, it's like you're hiding behind your, like, your Virgo BS, you know? <laughs> And that's what it is. Virgos love to like have this. They're these sweet little angels inside, but they love to have this like, this like tough exterior. I don't do that. Mm-hmm. I'm a nice guy to everyone. No, but it's 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 a lot of it's a lot of sheetrock up top. Well, it's it's a lot of sheetrock up top. I, it and takes I'm a lot for me to trust of, someone. Yes, but here's the thing: you're not when it comes to Hollywood and business and comics and all that, don't worry about trust, okay? Trust your mother, your father, your brothers, your girlfriend, whatever it is, whoever, whatever you got behind this wall. Trust that, okay? The rest, just be, if you keep it real and you keep it soft, like like just authentic as fuck right up top, like just honestly, like be cool, just be regular. I think you're going to okay. get a lot more respect. He, here's the thing. I appreciate what you're saying. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to get defensive here. Go for it. Do it up. I am honest and real and nice. And I do not. I am nothing like Luke Schwartz. I think you both have the same. A little bit of that demeanor. A little bit of that. I'm, you know, both. Like, I'm just fucking with you, right? All the time. And if you just, just be more Ari. Give me Ari. Let's Give me Ari on Hanukkah morning or Christmas morning. I don't know. Jewish people confuse me how they still celebrate Christmas. It's very crazy to me. Okay, so you're saying maybe... With um, your parents. Like, give me that Ari. Just, you know, just kind of... Sixth grade insecure just Ari. Just real deal. Yeah, just real... Yeah. How you exactly. doing? Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. Good to see yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Try okay. it out. I'm going to... Yeah. I'm just going to accept the feedback and yeah, I'm going to soak it in. Yeah. Not and everything. Be, yeah, exactly. Just be more regular. I'm going to just be regular. Save your, you know, we have so much, we only have a certain amount of energy inside of our yeah. body. Save your, you know, the the comedy for like, you know, when you really need it, you know? You're saying I'm too funny is what you're saying. Oh, yeah. You are just, you're just, yeah. But see, here's the thing. I never know when you are being funny because it's like you're just being, you're being the facade all the time. Got it. You're saying. Less facade, more Ari. Maybe a little more, uh, less sarcasm. Less sarcasm. That's yes, what it is. I'm that's too what sarcastic it is. You and Luke. And yes, that's okay. The, yes, that I've been too told sarcastic. before. That's People say was, to me a that's lot. That's what I was saying. People do say to me yes. a lot. I can't tell when you're joking or not. Right. Exactly. So when. So therefore, it's like you don't know when. I don't know when to give it up for you. So yeah. I'm saying you might get it given up. People might give it up to you more if you're authentic most of the time, and then you got the sarcasm got sometimes. It. So a little less wit, a little less dry. A little less dry. I've noticed that some of my like sometimes it's like too. It's like they don't know that I'm just fucking around. Like when I'm right. like ridiculous on Instagram, I'm like I'm a con- I'm being I'm being silly. I'm okay, like, if I'm being open and honest, yeah, I think mm-hmm. if I try to analyze my personality and mm-hmm. why I maybe don't, I'm not that serious of a person and I'm dry and whatnot in real mm-hmm. life. It's because I'm just shy, right. and that's how I know how to act and, so be and, shy. and humor but but i yeah it's like that might that'll come that across, or i'm yeah. just silent just uh, be shy yeah because that might be more endearing to people and then you'll be able to connect more with people and when you connect with them you'll be able to get the respect or get whatever authentic feeling that they have mm-hmm. you're not going to get any probably f- authentic feelings from people because they don't feel like you're being authentic they with don't them. feel like they know me right so if you be a little more shy be a little more you you're going to get more I like that. Mm-hmm. That's good. Thank you. That was good. See, that was good you. feedback. Yeah. Okay. What can I help you with? Um, what else is there? Um, I really am changing a lot. I'm making a lot of strides. Um, how are you with sobriety? What do you do on that? So, it's. I'll tell you my thoughts on yeah. sobriety. Um, I'm I'm very fortunate in that I don't like the taste of alcohol. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not really a big drinker. I'm kind drugs. of. I'm like really into. I'm really into being me Mm -hmm. and the idea of taking a substance whether that be alcohol or Mm -hmm. drugs or a pill Mm -hmm. is less the real me Mm -hmm. in my mind yeah like if i take a pill i'm not going to be clear i'm not going to be fully myself 
So that I've I've never had a problem with good. it because That's I've good. never I've always been like I don't want to contaminate That's myself oh, and my body. You. Good That's for you. kind of my mentality. Even when I was a kid, I didn't take Tylenol when I had a headache. Like wow. it was to that. Now I do. Now if I right, have a cold or a headache, I'll give me whatever pill you yeah. got. I want the pain to go okay, away. Okay, so that's good. So then I guess my question would be like, what would you say about, because for me, it's like, I have a tough, if I want something, what's I your biggest want, issue with, is it well, alcohol? Is it drugs? What's your, what's well, your I'm go-to? Sober, I'm sober now eight months. And um, my go-to is pills and pot. So but pills and pot, those were my, always my thing. So, you know, there's a lot of people listening who are like pot, like, don't be a pussy. You could smoke pot, but no, but I'll tell you, when you're smoking an eighth. That's of what I was going to say. I was like, it's yeah. easy for you to say, yeah. but some people do smoke too much to so the point much. where it makes them lazy. It makes right. them fat. It makes them Ugh. not as not Paranoid, as good as their potential. Everything yeah. allow them to be. So right. so I do think pot is not for everyone, and, and not everyone yeah. could smoke a little bit and then be done. And it opens up the door once you're smoking a lot of weed. Then it's like. Uh, you know, oh, let's you know. Once I, it's the bandwagon. Now I'm on it. And then it goes with the pills. Right. It can the be a gateway drug Ambien. for certain people. Yeah, exactly. certain, you got to remember, everyone's different. So right. you may be out there and thinking, God, this guy's a pussy. He can't smoke pot. You can smoke pot maybe and be fine. Right. Not everyone can. People and I problems. will smoke you under the table if you dare say that. But go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So um, I think it's good that, yeah. that that you're sober for eight months, and I think yeah. it sounds like a very healthy thing for you. And what you need as far as staying sober. Right. That can be hard. You, That's I would say, um, surround yourself with sober people. Yeah, you're right. That makes it a lot easier. Yeah. In- influence um, is a lot. That's like I like truth. to think I have a lot of willpower and that I don't cave to peer pressure. I but don't cave everyone to does a little bit, even if no. it's subconscious. If you're around everyone and everyone around you is drinking and getting fucked up. I would just leave. Yeah, you, you would just leave. But still, eventually, it's like, ah, I'll, I'll have a drink. Everyone's drinking. No, it's the, hard. The thing is, Ari, I was always the peer pressurer. That was yeah. the thing. I was always the person peer pressuring I think it friends. even happens on a subconscious level. It's like, well, you be are around great you, people yeah, and yes. you'll be great. You it's would the try, same thing. The try, yeah, you're, so, you're, yeah. so if you know yourself and know that yeah, I agree. you shouldn't drink or smoke, even if you don't care, think you cave to peer pressure or you don't, right. Don't surround yourself right. with anyone who drinks and smokes because it's just there, and then right. you're like, "Oh, you know what? I'll take a exactly." Hit. Yeah, the next, yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's, I think that's step one: is mm-hmm. be around good influences, yeah. people who don't smoke, smoke or drink. Um, the twelve step program, I'm not really, I can't, I'm yeah. not for it. Um, I've been down that road. I, I'm not against. If you're yeah. into it and it works for you, great. More yeah. power to you. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy for yeah. you that you found something that works yeah. for you. I don't like I it. Yeah. I can't get, I can't do it. Mm-hmm. I'm not, whatever, maybe the issues with me, I don't know, but it doesn't work for yeah, me. Yeah, me neither. Um, so yeah, I think just remind like, yourself yeah. every day you're better without you're it. Right. It's healthier without it. Be around people yep. that don't need it. Yep. And that's, that's, true. that's, like, that's about that's all you can do. I know yeah. they have pills and other stuff you can take that makes your body hate alcohol, for example. Well, thank, I know. Yeah, luckily, thank God I was never an alcoholic. Oh my God, that sucks. I've seen people who like, like I, I if I I can't remember the last time I was like drunk, like I don't love to get drunk. I'll drink. Yeah. I can go have a couple of drinks and be great. Yeah, I'll get a same. nice buzz. I'm fine. Yeah. I don't like hangovers, but like give me pills. I've overdosed on pills before. I've been put in rehab. Like pills, Ambien, Xanax, um, uh, Adderall, uh, amphetamine salts. All that I used to love. That 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 is like. I mean, here's the deal. Whew. You want to be you want to get to that next level in your career yeah. in your life you want to be in better shape right exactly. you want to be yes. you want to make more money you yes. want to be on the road headlining bigger rooms selling more tickets right pills you gotta be will focused. never yeah. do that for you ever, ever. there's not going to be one nope. there's not one person that's like if it was if it wasn't for my pill addiction no you're right i would yeah. i would be selling tickets if i had just right. done more pills yeah that's never going to happen ever. you're right it's so it's and that's what when i got sober it was the decision of do i now or never yeah. It's either you keep, you know, letting your brain be skewered up with these pills and these chemicals or you get sober and you get your your life together and you make better decisions so that you can have the career that you deserve. Right. And I'll give you one further. Most people yeah. wouldn't tell you this. I'll say this. When you sell out. Right. Um, let's think of when you sell out the San Jose Improv. Right. When you sell that place out. Mm-hmm. Relapse, dude. I celebrate. <laughs> the at least like, you, at, re, at least you reach your goal. Why don't we, why even don't if you we, fall, even if you fall back down, then you at least had a taste. Right, and that's what you need. You don't yeah, want to be yeah. at the top forever. Yeah, then that you don't want to. Then you'll appreciate. You won't appreciate it. 
So when you yeah. when you get to that next level where you want to be, then do some pills. But Fuck I've already done that. Though. That's the yeah. thing, though. I've used. I've sold out like Caroline's. I'm bro- I've sold out places, and then I've relapsed. No, no, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> no I want. I mean, I've really, not sell out your hometown. <laughs> I yeah, mean, you're right. I want you, when you're selling out on the road. No, you're when, right. When you're famous. Right, right, right. Relapse. Then relapse. All yeah. Right, all right. Fuck I'm, your life I'll, up. Let's sign that. I, I can yeah. sign Go fuck that. your let's life up once you made it. When you make it, go fuck your life up. And I support that. There you go. See, this is what we need more of. More. You see what I'm talking about with Ari? You see this? You see this? <laughs> because we were having a nice, <laughs> yeah. uh, nice conversation, uh-huh. deep, real, and then we go no, to the, I the mean Luke it. Schwartz. I, no, I mean it. <laughs> I mean this because if you stay at the top right. and just keep growing, growing, you don't appreciate things. You kind of become a dick no, even but without you realizing. Appreciate. Listen, let me explain this. I've been in my career, there's been like uh, highs you know, and lows. Highs and sure. lows. Yeah. Definitely where I've been like, no, been on a TV show regularly. Yeah. And then, you know, I mean, it's been, I, I didn't, I don't, my trajectory, if that's the word, it has never been like just, it's right. always been like, oh my God, you're that. And then it's plateau. And then, oh my God, yeah. he's that. And then it's plateau. And it's I like, think that can go for almost everyone. And I, maybe, but yeah. I think that like it could be because of the relapses. It could be because of, oh, sober and then relapse, sober and then relapse. And, and now it's like, it could no, I'm be. done with I'm that not, game. I'm We're not in your that. world. Yeah. Is much, um, but I'll say from my perspective, the things that I know about you, your reputation yeah. for me, mm-hmm. I've never heard anyone go, oh, like, if it, you know, it's too bad he has oh, had drug problems. Like, never. I've never heard anyone say that not. about you. But I'm good. saying, and there I are know comedians me. who they of do course. say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm, because I'm not a sloppy mess. Yeah. And my thing is that I know I'm in a stage of my life where I'm just taking. All, you have to take responsibility for your own actions. Yeah. And, you know, I'm 12 years in and I look at myself and I say, you know what? I want to – I said no to a lot of stuff. I might have, you know, fired people that maybe shouldn't – you know, like I look at things and said maybe I – reacted hastily. You've made some mistakes. I've made, but I think I've made ma- a lot of mistakes. They're only mistakes if of you course. don't learn from them. Exactly. And yeah. I'm just taking ownership of my shit now. Yeah. So um, sobriety is one of them, you know? Well, good. Yeah. yeah, I'm not saying you have to relapse when you when you sell out the uh, San Jose. Obviously Ambra. not. I mean, I, I'm just saying yeah. then at least, okay, I deserve a, a fuck up. Yeah, I think let's maybe sell out Carnegie yeah. Hall. And once you sell out Carnegie, yeah, then, we'll, then, then we'll relapse. relapse. Okay, yeah, then we'll All right, deal. Yeah, <laughs> once you sell out Carnegie, Carnegie Hall, yeah. I'll, buy, I'll buy you the Come pills. On. Come on. I'll happily be <laughs> yeah. the I'll be the reason for your downfall. Yeah, you won't yeah. have to buy the pills. My men, my, my insurance people in the crowd give them to you. Oh, well, that too, yeah. One time I was in Australia and someone in the audience handed me a tab of acid and I did it that mm, night. Very yeah, unlike me. of course. But I was like, I'm in this new place. Yeah. Got nothing to do. Not? I'll do it. And then I was up in my, everyone, it was like one in the morning. And then I'm up in my room by myself all night on acid and going, okay, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. I mean, have you ever done it and then go and take that was something? My first, that was my one and only time doing acid. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, well. Could have been worse. It could have totally been worse. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, you could have yeah, you, you could have been doing acid and filming something. <laughs> anything else anything else you want to plug or tell the world um well i have my new podcast coming out uh monday it's called up next have you Hollywood already recorded Improv. some we've recorded a few yeah You've recorded a few okay so, so it's, that'll it's for come sure out happening it's coming out monday um oh my this is not happening air is march 1st oh that's incredible i did a story yeah. on that that'll air on comedy central march 1st it's actually a really dope story so i'm, I'm proud of it i want people to listen watch it yeah, what's you don't have to yeah. say the story what's the general um it's about my um it? It's just a coming of age story type of thing where I um, overdosed on pills because I was in love and I hated being gay and then came out of it and then started stand up comedy and um, found myself through stand up. So love it. That kind of thing. Um, it's a great story. And, um, and then that's it. That's it so far. That's great. That I'm proud of. Follow Thomas mm-hmm. at Thomas Dale five. Five is Thomas. My, my number. Del five. That's his lucky number. And no, well, just not Dale lucky number. Just the number. It's a. It's a guide. I see it. Whether it's, you just see it throughout your life. Yep. It means that change is a big change is about to occur when I see it in prominent. Yeah. I prominent mean, it's things. no surprise to me that the guy who's into horoscopes also has a number he sees throughout it's his life. It's cute that like he says like horoscopes like yeah. because that's so like basic. Yeah. I never said I was into horoscopes. I said I was into a no, scientific I'm saying you're explanation into horoscopes. that is called astrology. That's which what is, it is also called a horoscope. Right. No, horoscope is something that so you use to trivialize something that you don't I understand. Didn't, I honestly did not know that horoscope was like a, a slang of or a trivialization yeah. of a Astrology. Okay, because I apologize. You don't know anything about it. It is no surprise to me mm-hmm. that a man who is into astrology mm-hmm. also sees the number five there you go, pop yes. up throughout because his I'm life. Because I'm a higher conscious thinker, and be, when you are connected to that 
that level of thinking, you will see things like that. So yes, Ari. And I hope for you one day that you rise to that. And I hope so too. Yeah, I think it would be beautiful. I hope that I could get into astrology. I think I Not be- just astrology. I hope that you rise, you you raise your vibration and that you one day get to that 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 place where you are able to see the gifts that life has for us. I want I'm Me being too. so serious. No, I want I know. that for you. I, I actually I really want that for you. Genuinely, I appreciate yeah. that. And I want that for myself. Good. And maybe 2019 yeah. is the year I'm I'm going to be positive and or, open-minded. Yeah. One day. And it doesn't find have to be 19. my... Uh, It'll happen. Find my, my meaning. I think you will. Is that the word? Yeah. No. Um, find my... You'll raise your... your you'll get Be to, more open to things. Yeah. That would be a start. That's a start. Yeah. Be more open to the energies. Uh-huh. Of the world that of, you live in. Of the world and... and the universe. And come, come more. Shit, I mean, damn you! Always everybody. right. Yeah, I mean, always well, good to come more. I mean, I'm Italian. I don't have to, you know. I'm coming. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for doing it, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.